Hey everyone, this is kind of a weird video to be doing, considering the recent news, in case you haven't heard, Jason Frank, who played Tommy uh, in Power Rangers and all, in several episodes, several seasons, has passed away, and very sadly, it's been really hard to uh, accept this news. Like, at first, I was sure it was a hoax. It didn't seem possible that this could happen. But it is indeed true that it happened. And it's been a few days, but it's still, like, man, it really hurts. Jason Frank meant so much to the franchise. And even outside of Power Rangers, he was just a really nice person and a really happy, enthusiastic per person who always just seemed to want to make people happy. So, it's allowed me to look at this episode of Ninja Storm kind of recontextualized. Tommy, back in Mighty Morphin, was the first Sixth Ranger. He came in and completely shook up everything. Everything changed. And I don't think the show would have lasted without him. He provided that kind of uh, special element that the show really needed to continue. So anyway, in Ninja Storm, Cam is the first green sixth ranger since Tommy back in Mighty Morphin, and I always found that to be really cool. And I like that the tradition of having a sixth ranger has continued in nearly every Power Ranger season. So, uh, anyway... Summary of A Samurai's Journey, Part 1. Let's see. It's, the episode begins at Ninja Ops. The Rangers are watching Sensei break a brick in half. And then they all take turns trying to break it, but none of them can do it. Except Cam. Cam goes up and just, on his first try, completely smashes it. And the others can't understand how he could have done it. And they're insisting, it must have been a trick. You, like, use some kind of laser or something, right? I love Dustin being dumb sometimes. Cam gets really angry at them. He blows up and storms off. And the Rangers are like, dude, what? And uh, Sensei explains to them that he made a promise to Cam's mother that he won't train Cam. Even though earlier on in the series, he promised Cam that he would train him. I guess he went back on that. Tori follows Cam and uh, talks things over with him. And, uh, Cam explains that he wishes he could help the rangers more, that he wants to be a ranger. And Tori and the other rangers all agree. And Dustin even has a line, he's the most together of any of us. And then Lothor sends down a new monster, Madtropolis, who has really powerful abilities. And, uh, they're not quite consistent what, with what they are. At the beginning, when he's first introduced up on Lothor's spaceship, Mar and Capri come up to what they think is Lothor, and then it turns into Matropolis. Matropolis can shapeshift. Then later, he doesn't. And also, on top of the shapeshifting ability, he has this uh, magic sphere thing that he can use to suck up the ranger's powers. Okay. So then... <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. The rangers go to fight Metropolis, and their powers get sucked into the sphere. Then back at Ninja Ops, Cam adjusts their morphers so they can still morph, but they're not at full power. Okay. So then, let's see, Shane manages to get the sphere from the monster, but then the monster creates this illusion world where he can make the rangers look like him. And then the rangers are all confused, they can't tell who's who... And uh, then Shane finds himself surrounded by Madtropolises, and he doesn't know who's his friend and who's his enemy. And he's trying to figure this out, and then suddenly he, sh he hears Sensei's voice echo in his head that he needs to focus and find the true one with his ninja skills. And so Shane, like, oh yeah, and then there, there's a line, uh, your eyes could deceive you. So Shane, like, closes his eyes, focuses really hard on, like, just hearing them. And then he's able to find the real Matropolis, he slashes Matropolis, and the illusion is destroyed. All through that, Matropolis never shapeshifts. 
he has the ability to create the illusion that other characters are him. But he himself never actually becomes any of the Rangers or anything. So the beginning is kind of weird. I'm wondering, did they look at the footage and they just completely misinterpreted it? Eh, whatever. So then... They destroy Madropolis, he comes back giant, they need the Zords, but their powers are still stuck in the sphere. So Cam sends the Zords with this new defensive attack that's supposed to conserve energy. It's a big red blanket. Sure made more sense in Hurricane Jer. Uh, let's see, the Rangers teleport the sphere to Cam, but then uh, he's trying to unlock it, but then the Rangers are knocked out of their, their Megazords, and they're losing their powers, and Sensei tells Cam that there may be a way to save them, but it no longer exists. And then uh, Cam's like, oh, it's something in the past. Sensei's like, I know, there's a scroll that can time travel people, and then Sensei jumps in front of it, and he's like, no, Cam, you can't do it, it's too dangerous. And eventually, Cam talks him into letting him uh, use it. He uses the scroll. Cam's sucked through this swirling portal, and then he lands in what looks like out, right outside Ninja Ops in front of uh, the waterfall. But then he turns around, he hears something, and there's a big horse coming, and it rears up, and Cam's like, whoa, and then uh, there he sees somebody on the horse's back. It's a Wind Ninja student. The end. Or, to be continued. This is a pretty cool episode, and, um, let's see, I really love the opening. The opening is great. Uh, Jason Chan, who plays Cam, is an amazing actor. I really love him in Ninja Storm. He does such a good job, like, all the time. Even as a kid, he was a character that I really, really liked. Ninja Storm wasn't a season I was, like, super into, but I did like him. From the very beginning, he was always my favorite character, and I always... Like, up until he became a ranger, I hoped he would become a ranger. Um, let's see. Also, the thing with him being able to break the brick shows how capable he is, possibly more so than the other rangers, who all fail to break the stone, or the brick. Oh yeah, and, uh, let's see, the monster, Madtropolis, he's a pretty lame, forgettable monster. And like I said before, his abilities aren't consistent. Like, initially, his power is shape-shifting... And then he never uses that ability ever. He uses a completely different ability where he can create illusions. Kind of similar to, um... I can't remember now. I know there's another episode where there was a monster who had the ability to make it appear as though the other rangers were the monster. Um... Oh yeah, this episode has a line I really like. With Lothor and Zergain, and Lothor, there's a scene where Lothor says to Zergain, "Why don't you smile?" And Zergain says, "Sir, I don't have a mouth." And I always loved this line for some reason, and it made it was a type of line that made me think way too hard. The Ninja Storm in particular is one of those Pinder seasons in the Disney era where there's a lot of lines thrown out that are just meant to be gags, but. In my mind, like, it's hard for me to take a line as a gag, because, I don't know, Power Rangers to this point has kind of moved away from gag humor, and so it's really hard for me to accept that there's a line like this, and it act it's just a joke. It has to, like, mean something. It has to have something to do with something. So it made me, like, overthink Zergain and think, so, what kind of creature is he? He doesn't have a mouth. Does that mean he's some kind of robot? Is he some kind of a cyborg? Did he have a mouth at one point? Where did Lothor find him anyway? Is he an alien? Like, what what kind of alien is he? I, I, yeah, it's the kind of thing that, like, I honestly thought about a lot for some reason, even though the line was most likely just intended to be a joke. It wasn't meant to be thought about at all. But, like I said, it's hard for me to just accept something like that. Let's see. And I really like the ending. The ending is cool, and it's really tense, and the reveal of a wind ninja student builds up a great mystery, and uh, sets up, like, how far back did Cam go? Did he go back to just right before Lothor came, or did he go back, like, to the right time? Did he go back too far? Not far enough? And, uh, who is this student? Are they a 
ally? Are they a friend? Does he even know who this... Because he could he know who this person is? I remember being a kid, and that was something I thought about when I saw this, because I do remember vaguely seeing this and wondering... Because I remembered... I think I remembered the premiere. I don't remember exactly now. It was a long time ago. It's really fuzzy in my mind. But, yeah, it... I seem to remember wondering, like, was this a student that Cam knew who was uh, at the school? And I thought, oh, are they going to, like, uh, team up? Is there going to be two Cams? Uh, yeah, anyway, the show eventually went in a completely different direction from what was going on in my mind. And it was a really good story, but I'll get to that when I get to it. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.